Welcome to my eGPU update video. Jens here from All Star Spec. In my previous eGPU video, I simply made the case of ditching the Blackmagic eGPU and replacing the Radeon Pro 580 by installing the Razer Core X Enclosure coupled with an AMD Radeon RX Vega 64 eGPU. I really urge you to watch the video to get the full picture. Now, I was going to sell the Blackmagic eGPU as I had no need for it or so it seemed. Then I thought to myself, hold on here. DaVinci Resolve, an editing software that is also made by Blackmagic, can utilize two separate eGPUs. As a matter of fact, you can configure this in the settings when using DaVinci Resolve. So does this work with macOS Mojave and my 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro? Starting with macOS Mojave 1014, you can turn on Prefer External GPU in specific apps like Final Cut Pro 10. The Apple support page has no mention of multiple eGPU support on macOS and Final Cut Pro. My extensive Google search didn't reveal much either. Okay. Okay, I thought let's go and hook up the Blackmagic with the integrated Pro 580 together with the eGPU Razer Core X integrated with my RX Vega 64 to see if both are actually working alongside mainly with Final Cut Pro 10. Why not give it a shot? My current setup is the LG 5K Ultrafine, a 2018 MacBook Pro with an i9 processor, 32GB of RAM and 2TB of SSD storage. My MacBook Pro has 4 Thunderbolt 3 ports, enough to hook up the Blackmagic and Razer Core X eGPU. My LG monitor is plugged into the Blackmagic and the Blackmagic is plugged into my MacBook. Therefore, I have only taken up two ports for three devices. Now, I couldn't wait to see the results, especially as I was unable to find anything about you using multiple eGPUs in macOS. I have done two real life tests. First one is exporting a 4K 30 frames per second footage from Final Cut Pro to a master file in a H.264 format. The footage is 17 minutes and 36 seconds long and contains of color grading as well as some effects and transitions. Second one is stabilization. I wanted to see what the eGPU utilization is when stabilizing footage and which eGPU Final Cut Pro would choose assuming it wouldn't use both. The clip is also 4K 30 frames per second and 29 seconds long. Without further ado, here are the results. Exporting my footage to H.264 with the Blackmagic and Razer Core X eGPU connected, the export time was 10 minutes and 55 seconds. When disconnecting the Radeon Pro 580 Blackmagic eGPU with only the Vega 64 left, it jumped to 11 minutes and 40 seconds, almost one minute longer. When it came to stabilization, it had similar results. Both eGPUs plugged in and it only took 33 seconds. However, when I unplugged the Blackmagic Magic eGPU and left my MacBook Pro with the Vega 64 only, it took about 38 seconds. In all honesty, I was not expecting those results. When looking at the activity monitor for my eGPU, I could see that both are working just fine alongside, never mind the difference in speed. This is just amazing and totally unexpected to me. So my conclusion is that macOS Mojave 1014 supports multiple eGPUs, however it depends on the application support like Final Cut Pro 10. If you know what other application can make use of multiple eGPUs in macOS leave me a comment and please let me know. Thank you for watching and please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more unexpected results. Jens here from All Star Space. See you next time. Peace out. <laughs>